Hi, boys and girls. This story is called Nighty Night. No, 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 said little Saurus. Uh-oh, do you think he wants to go to bed? Yes, said Daddy Saurus, it's time for bed. Put you in bed. I want a story, said little Saurus, and he put his pyjamas on. So Daddy Saurus told him a funny story. Ha ha ha, he he he, laughed little Saurus, and he jumped up and down on the bed. Daddy Saurus, said Mommy Saurus, you're supposed to be calming him down. Nighty night, little Saurus, said Daddy Saurus. I'm not tired, said little Saurus. What if I sing you a lullaby, said Mommy Saurus. Hmm, said little Saurus, that might work. But it didn't. I've got a tummy ache, said little Saurus. So Mummy Saurus rubbed it better and said, Now try to go to sleep. But my bed's all itchy, said little Saurus. Go to sleep, said Daddy Saurus. But I, said little Saurus. Sleep, said Mummy and Daddy Saurus. But I can't help it if I'm not tired and I don't want to go to sleep because it's not dark outside and anyway I want a glass of milk and there's a shadow on the wall and I want another story and I've got an itch and anyway my friend Whippersnapper Saurus says he can stay up all night long if he wants to and anyway why can't I stay up as long as my, as Big Sister Saurus and I'm too hot and my tummy hurts again and nobody loves me and I hate school and anyway, when Nana Saurus babysits me, she reads me hundreds and millions of books and tells me funny stories and tickles me and I love her and I'm hungry and I think there's something under the bed and I've got a wobbly tooth and... Can I get up? No, said Mummy and Daddy Saurus. Not fair, said Little Saurus. Oops, said Little Saurus. I think I'll go to sleep now. Mummy and Daddy don't look happy. But that's not the end of it because little Saurus waited until Mummy and Daddy Saurus were snoring and then he snuggled in between them. And guess what? He went straight to sleep. Nighty night. Bye.